Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to the Venusian Light Tarot. So today we are going to be doing a collective energy reading and this reading is going to be for a smaller group of people than my usual collective readings. When I usually pull the cards beforehand or some of them, it is for a more specific group of people. So if it doesn't resonate with you, that's okay. But if you do feel drawn to the reading and to um, the initial energy that I will go into, then it could be for you. So just trust your intuition and I trust that spirit will guide those souls to this reading if it's right for you. So when I tapped in here and I was asking spirit what the message was about, um, I heard spirit say the path to the temple is open and then this card flew out here we have never ending story and then this one flew out which is very similar looking if you look at the images here so what i was getting is that there's a specific there could, and i'll go more into the message but there could be like a specific trauma for for somebody whoever this is for or some event that you felt has been never ending for you and it's almost like there's a window of opportunity opening to heal that specific um, trauma or situation in your life. And for some of you, there is actually going to be an opportunity for that. And I don't know yet how that's going to manifest. It could be that um, maybe you'll have an opportunity involving like another person to have a conversation about something or to... <clears throat> Kind of like allow yourself to finally once and for all put something to rest or to heal something specific and when i was shuffling the other cards too i did see the card about being something about not following society but just doing your own thing and just being yourself authentically so definitely with this hermit here um this feels like a message for somebody about that but I want to go more into it now. They're actually showing me like an avalanche coming in from this side. And I will say this does kind of feel a bit like an intense message. If you are in this right now, or if this is like a predictive message for what's to come, there may be almost like a feeling of the walls closing in or like, you know, metaphorically speaking, this like an avalanche that comes down. So maybe things are crashing down or the emotions are like overwhelming you right now. Again, maybe about something quite specific for you. And it feels like this is an opportunity to look at that and to heal that. I am being drawn to this tree here to say this could be like an ancestral pattern for some of you. It could be about family and the footsteps that are here. It's like this is some very intense feeling. And of course, we just had the eclipse and that sun in the background here too. It feels like we are, and now the sun's kind of out, you know, it's almost like it was eclipsed before and now all the rays are out in the open. So I do think that if some of you have been feeling very emotional about it, especially something quite specific, that could be what this is about. But yeah, they're showing me a camera and I'm hearing memories. So yeah, this is like someone who's in their mind a lot, somebody who's maybe going back to a certain memory or a lot of memories of the past are kind of unfolding in front of you. And it's because Spirit has said the temple is open. So I guess what they mean by that is the temple of self or the temple of, of like healing, a healing kind of chamber almost is what it feels like. So let's go into it and see if this kind of sounds like something and the strength cards or the card of strength is here and this is a tree. Um, so yeah, this is all about inner strength and I'm being shown a magnifying glass now and it's taking a magnifying glass to all of these little details of what seems to be a specific memory or past traumas, fears, things that have held you back from the past and it's like you're being called to magnify that right now or it could be just coming up you know, naturally for you that things are just feeling very magnified right now and even though it feels painful, even though it could be um, not pleasant to go through those overwhelming emotions it is actually going to be helping you to finally heal from something and I feel a strong sense of like support here something again with that tree like guides around that tree definitely ancestors are coming up here that you are yeah you're healing this so let's go ahead and see if this sounds like something that might be for you let's go deeper into the message so spirit, tap us in then a little bit more to, I'm hearing Aquarius, 
Uh, that may not be for everybody, but for some of you, you could have Aquarius in your chart. Also, this is super specific. It's going to be probably for one person, but I heard the name Taylor, and then I also heard um, Massachusetts. So that might be some kind of connection for somebody, but so let's see we have the page of cups spirit tell us a little bit more about this message then what would you like to say about this the temple is open yeah the page of cups there's the heart we have the lovers this does feel that with the temple and actually we have this like lotus flower here it gives me a feeling of like the temple of the body the temple that is sacred within our connections with intimacy to ourselves and with other people so for some of you, this is directly connecting to your um, intimate relationship. So for example, some of you could have had, um, again, like some trauma in your life, or you may have had a bad relationship or some memory that either you can identify or it's just like in your subconscious, which connects and has maybe been a challenge for you to connect deeply to other people, romantically, even friendships. Um, and I feel like this is an opportunity here for you to connect more deeply to yourself so you can connect more deeply to a person, maybe a love interest. And um, again, we'll get some more because I was getting possibly for some of you, there could be an opportunity for this. So maybe you'll meet somebody new or maybe you will have an important kind of heart to heart conversation or something which will help you to almost like open your heart to the truth of where that originates from and how you can heal it okay for someone specific this is not going to be for everybody it could be a i'm hearing father wound so this could be a father wound or this could be a um healing the masculine side of yourself as well tell us a little bit more spirit about this message here today for whoever this is for and I'm hearing spirits say you're doing a good job. So if you've already been doing this, if you've already been maybe um, taking these steps to heal from this, yeah, the devil, the two of wands, you are doing a good job. And um, some of you actually, this could be a confirmation of the work that you've already done on this exact topic. And this is spirit saying that we have seen your progress and we have also seen like how committed you are to to healing this and this actually could be the moment in time kind of with this eclipse and afterwards that these situations are kind of being highlighted or, or coming back up for this opportunity but we have the devil here and the lovers and so the lovers or the devil is the shadow aspect of the lovers so i definitely feel like this does connect very deeply for whoever this is to your sense of self um and to the relationships again intimately that you've had in your life and um, again, this two of wands here, and they showed me the magnifying glass, and here we have a telescope. It is giving me a feeling of like something to come. Um, tell me a little bit more about that spirit, because it almost feels like there could be something where there's either someone that's going to enter your life, and so spirit's preparing you for this by helping to clear out the clutter in your heart, and also this could be sacral chakra as well, any kind of um, healing from maybe even sexual connections in your life cores that you've had attached um tell us a little bit more spirit about this please for whoever this is for yeah justice and i keep i keep hearing shine shine yourself or shine yourself brightly yeah the sun the four of cups the three of swords yeah, this is definitely about that. And for a few of you, this is specific as well. You may have gone through a breakup recently or you may have ended something recently. And if you have, this actually, see, look at the same kind of figure here too. A lot of similar images. Um, if you have, for that group of you, have ended something recently or you've went through a breakup, that actually in itself is the catalyst for you to look at whatever this is, this, this certain maybe wound, or maybe it's from that connection that you just broke up, you know, with, maybe that connection is serving a purpose to help you to um, uncover something within yourself. But it also could be that if it was like a short term relationship or somebody that didn't really wasn't, you know, contributing to this directly, this breakup may almost ask you to heal that or to go within or it's giving you the opportunity 
Uh, and again, that may be very specific, but some of you, there could be a separation happening between you and a person and it's given you an opportunity and it's giving this other person an opportunity as well. And for a few of you as well, this could be vice versa um, or both people too with the hermit to where both you and a person may be going through the same thing where collectively we're being asked to look at our relationship to self and how we have shown up kind of in those connections with the justice card and something also about how to put that like what was kind of right in our life or like what was like where has there been an injustice where have you been maybe mistreated or where has there been disrespect in your connections and and how has that also related to the never-ending story that you may have been attached to you know so somebody who yeah let me get a few more here tell us a little bit more spirit about this for whoever this is for but yeah and they keep saying that the path to the temple is open and here we have this woman doing yoga um, so it feels like it's a very spiritual experience for whoever this is both you and a person possibly like I said or even just you but um, it's a very spiritual experience and I'm being shown a, a piece of yarn that's unwinding or like a coil and it was all coiled up and now it's like slowly beginning to be more spread out so it's like you're untangling yourself from something which directly relates to how you know again your sense of inner self the temple of your body even for some of you the temple of how you respect and honor your body and how you relate to other people um, intimately something is being un kind of like unwoven sort of or uncoiled when it comes to that if that makes sense and so i think this time again collectively is a is highlighted as a time where we are being I'm, I'm hearing higher dimensional connections or higher vibrational connections and the lovers being the shadow aspect I'm sorry the devil being the shadow aspect of the lovers this is pointing to a opportunity for like a higher love to come in or an opportunity to connect with yourself on that higher level so that it's time to like elevate all connections from where they once were or where they've been operating at to a higher level so that's going to mean different things it could be an existing connection maybe you've had some challenges with your partner recently and maybe this is triggered by like an argument or something that has happened between you both but if that's the case and you still you know want to be with this person you both could actually be given the opportunity to heal from your inner wounds so that you can come together in a way where you can both begin to really meet each other on a much deeper level because you've met yourself on a deeper level this could also manifest as like i said maybe a breakup for some of you and that breakup actually happened for you to not be involved in the same vibrational connection that you were in even if it was something that was working for a while it may not serve your highest good and so this breakup may be forcing you again to go through this so that the next partner to come in is going to be not just kind of above what you were invested in before um, it could be a separation as well it could be so many so many things but it just feels like we are no longer supposed to kind of settle in a way um, or to lower our it's like it can't really fit anymore anyway you know it's it's like with that unwinding of the yarn even if we were to try to make something work right now it's not going to work because we have raised our vibration so much or we have shifted so much in this frequency so it's almost like something being kicked out you know like so that i could see this being maybe a time for some of you where there is a lot of endings or there are a lot of um big changes happening on the relationship front because it's like if it doesn't if it doesn't fit anymore if it doesn't align anymore it's almost being like kicked out of your life sort of yeah so light will always come even if you feel that you were immersed in the darkness I'm hearing the name Caitlin. What else, Spirit, do you want to say about this message, Yin and Yang? 
Yeah, definitely somebody here is being called to do some kind of like, I keep getting yoga, meditation, something where I keep here in the temple. So I don't know what that's going to mean for you, but, um, and I'm being shown images of like yoga and um, yeah, so whatever, and I think this came up in my last reading too, but with the hermit, this is a really good time to go deep into any kind of inner work that can get you to a place of, of centered balance and groundedness could be this balance between the masculine and the feminine as well. I was getting a strong feeling of like maybe even toxic masculinity for some of you to where you have, may have been attached to people um, with this toxic masculinity or within yourself, you know, it can go both ways, but it feels like this is a time to balance the two and to, to, to kind of look within to see where is your own masculine and feminine balance within self and then also your relationships like how does your partner or you how do you kind of interact with each other or various things with that but definitely yoga meditation breath work something to help you to tap deep into center of self here I'm hearing what do you really want yeah so like I said that's for somebody specific or possibly vice versa for this reading too somebody may have gone through an ending of relationship recently or is about to and I'm hearing the question what do you really want like somebody has to ask themselves that question right now um, and obviously you know it says here you can't start the next chapter if you keep holding on to the past and we have never-ending story so whatever never-ending story that is, maybe you tell yourself the same story about yourself. Maybe you're attached to the same person over and over, which is not good for you. Maybe you attract the same types of partners over and over. Um, there's just something to where we're being, again, like called to ask ourselves that question, like what cycles are repeating and how can we finally put an end to those? I'm hearing put a cap to them, put a cap on it. Initiation, step into your power, a rebirth, into a new way of being and living. Yeah, because this is connecting to the sun, the sun being like the self as well. Um, yeah, it's about it's about expression. And here we have balance again too. keep an open mind. It's not always about being right. Learn to compromise. Yeah, so take this how this will fit. There's many, th many um, examples I'm getting. You know, it's the way that maybe you are interacting with your current relationship. How do the two of you balance each other out? How can you find balance within each other? There's just something to where there's been like a codependency here or like a pattern that you have found yourself repeating with relationships. And it's time to express your truth and if and if expressing your truth and your true self means that some people won't go forward with you or that you will repel people or you will turn kind of somebody off then it's because they're not right for you um there's something like that to where it's like it's time to be and i think i said in the, in the beginning too there was a card that came up from this deck that i had seen that said something about it's time to be yourself regardless of, of societal standards or things like that so i feel like somebody here is going through this where it's like even if i express myself and my family or my friends or society doesn't agree with me um it's time to do it anyway because there's no freedom and being somebody that's going to be like a people pleaser or to conform yourself to an identity that's not who you really are and that is the never-ending story because that story will go on for you know on and on until we until honestly you know we look within so yeah i don't know if that means that you need to talk something out with somebody um I'm hearing that song by Rihanna. I I think it's called I Hate Hate That I Love You or something like that. So that song could resonate with somebody or that could be your situation that you may have like an on and off or I'm hearing egging me on. So I don't know. That could be something. Let me get a few more. Maybe like um, something which doesn't feel, you know, good. Yeah, the temperance card. Something about balance. Like you need to find balance with your current relationship. Um or the way in which you're going to deal with the future relationship or the like the 
What is this opportunity to heal though, Spirit, with this Page of Cups here? I mean, I feel like it is a lot to do with self-love and opening the heart here, but here's that tree. So, and there's those people around the tree. Remember I said that? I'm hearing, they don't understand you, but I will. What do I mean by that? Anything else, Spirit, that I've missed here? Queen of Wands, Strength, the Death card. Again, so we have two cards of, you know, Death here. Nine of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. And the Five of Swords is at the bottom. It's time to do something risky. I don't know what that's going to mean for you exactly. I don't know if this is about, like, you going towards a relationship that you have your eye on, that it's, like, a risky thing or if somebody feels that way about you, um, if it's just time to, you know, again, obviously break this cycle and start to approach relationships differently. Maybe it has to do with how you put yourself out there. Again, how you express yourself, how you show up in maybe the, this seems like relationship lies. Because there's a fear here of like being the self. There's a fear of showing up vulnerably and showing up authentically. Is there anything else, Spirit, about this? Because it's almost like what I'm getting is something is like almost about ready to come in. And I, again, I don't... It's like something is ready to come in, but it can't fully come in if we're still holding on to something else. Or if we're still holding back, you know, it's like that kind of feeling to where the universe is trying to offer something up, but it depends on your level of openness or receptivity to it. I'm noticing we have regret here at the bottom. Yeah, and I was talking about that too. Yeah, there's some kind of codependent um, situation here. So what about it, Spirit? What's the kind of main message that, or what's happening next? Or, let me see. Because, it, yeah, again, I keep being shown that devil, and, and now with that regret card, um, this kind of goes a few layers down because it's something where, like, the regret, yes, somebody could feel regretful about you, and it could be because of their own never-ending story of themselves, which then reflects that onto you. And I did see the Twin Flame card. So for a few, this could be a Twin Flame connection, or you could be on that journey, even if you're not you know, with that your person, um, even if you're in a separation or whatever the case is, there's still the purpose of that is to mirror back to us what we need to you know, heal and look at with them. And so it could be something like that to where maybe even mutually, because I was referring to that hermit to be maybe you and a person are both right now, maybe you and a twin flame are going through the same thing, even if you're separate. And that could be mutual regret, which may not only be about each other, if that makes sense. It could be about other relationships. It could be about childhood. It could be about self. You know, there's something with like a cycle that that is the root, you know, the cycle itself is the root cause of the challenges that we've experienced with connections and so you know in more like basic terms us healing the self and coming to balance within self allows us to be balanced with our person in the future whoever that is i don't know it, it, it's just something to where it's like we're being asked to look at the regrets and the disappointments that we've faced within self and in our other connections and forgive yeah forgive and be vulnerable so if that does mean some of you are interacting with this person or may have an interaction, this would be an advice for you if this is like a prediction, because um, for some of you it could be that 
it's time to approach this differently. It's time to approach this connection um, in a very forgiving, vulnerable way. It doesn't mean you have to be a pushover. That actually in itself could be the projection of you thinking that um, if you're being um, vulnerable, you think that you're being a pushover is not actually the case. Like it's just you expressing your truth. And so that is the case for some of you where, because I, I, I know I've seen this a lot in comments on, especially like twin flame readings and twin flame videos where there can be a lot of anger towards the person. I see that all the time. You know, I'm going to block this person or I never want to see this person again. And there's a lot of hate and anger. But if you are really in a true twin flame connection, you having that kind of anger to block somebody is actually just causing more damage because it's a projection of your own inability to forgive and accept yourself. And so that's kind of what I'm seeing here. There's a there's a circle of a cycle and a wound here that starts within you forgiving yourself for for yourself and for whatever that is, mistakes that you feel you've made for a lack of self-love, a lack of boundaries. It should be, especially again with twin flame connections, it should be an organic flow, which is hard to reach that level until we've really mastered a lot within on both ends. Um, but it should be just a very forgiving, open, loving experience because that's the purpose is to get to that point of unconditional love. So that's what I'm seeing, you know, so if the opportunity does present itself energetically or even in the physical world to have an interaction with your what seems to be a counterpart connection but it won't be the case for everybody it's time to change how you view that person and how you approach your thoughts and your interactions with them like i said you know coming from a space of being ready to be vulnerable even if you are rejected or even if you have a fear of being rejected it's like you're not going to break the cycle by continuing to do the same thing, um, by closing off or being angry or repeating that same cycle. There needs to be some kind of change. And some of you, this has already happened within yourself, which is going to manifest as actually having that opportunity with your counterpart in the physical world, whatever is going to result of that. I don't know in this reading, but um, or to invite in a next level connection, which is going to be more suitable for the new open vulnerable you that you have cultivated you know if that makes sense that's that's what's coming through here so any final messages spirit and i keep hearing keep your tank full and i keep being shown somebody filling up like their tank of gas sort of but in this case it's your energy so again that could be if you already have this going on the advice is to keep your tank full like whatever you can do at every moment just keep refilling don't give yourself away to somebody who is not meeting you at that same level you know like i said you know you being vulnerable and open sometimes that will be met with a wall like a stone wall or rejection but that doesn't mean that you did anything wrong by doing that it just means that that person isn't capable or ready to meet you on that level so whatever it is you choose to do or your circumstance keep yourself full Yeah, I'm hearing pressure off and I'm being shown somebody taking their like finger off of a too, too much pressure. So pressure internally, pressure to maybe in a relationship, if that's the case for one group of you, there's many groups here, uh, maybe the pressure that you're putting on somebody else for maybe commitment or for whatever it is. Again, it's not about the other person. It's about you. So why, why do you feel the need to put that pressure or why do you feel the need to do that? I'm not saying that this other person doesn't contribute to it but it relationships are a mirror to us and so it does start with with self so we have to ask like where does that actually come from is it because i need this validation or is it because i need something from this person so that seems to be kind of the the wormhole almost that we're being called to go into with that hermit here at the bottom we do have boundaries so that's what i was just saying here 
we have vulnerability, we have different pages, and we have here and now. Yeah, again, I don't know. There's a few different energies coming up. I keep hearing if it doesn't fit, if it doesn't work. So some of you are in that group to where something's not working right now. If it is vice versa, you can take it that way because this reading might be vice versa, some parts of it. If something's not working, it means that maybe there's something better for you or somebody else for you here. Or the again, the way that you are able to compromise if that's doable. Um, but you have to also be willing to compromise too and look at what your needs are and why is this like is this person just who they are because of their own actions or do you contribute to it as well and the same goes for them like they have to be willing to do that too like if they're not willing to then that's a different thing but and so that could be that there's two connections here for some of you But others of you, it's the same connection where it is your true love, but it's going to have to be at a different time, kind of. Or like, um, yeah. I might do an extended for this reading because I do feel like some of you may need to know here about this other person. Let me just quickly see here. Who is it that's connected to the viewer in love? Who's connected to the viewer in love right now? Who is connected to the viewer? Yeah, for a lot of you, this is actually not for everybody, but this could actually be a future partner here with the Empress. I know it says this here, but it's it's either the future, like a new person, or it's a future version of this connection with these dominoes here. Because something with, with you, the viewer, and how this actually, this Empress has this hood over her head here. And I'm being drawn to the card protected because I think this is about you know, protecting, preserving your energy with the boundaries. And it's however you view this and however it connects with you personally, the, the, the main message here is to be very clear with your energy, be, be very open, be very expressive, and be very certain of what it is that you need, who you are, what, again, cycle that you can break with this whole thing. Who's connected here to the viewer? Yeah, for a lot of you, it's, I feel like this is gonna be a new opportunity coming in. Let me get one more card though. Who is connected to the viewer in love? Yeah, and I'm hearing for some of you, this again could be specific, but I'm hearing um, single and ready to mingle. So, and I'm seeing a lot of, okay, yeah, there's, see, there's somebody who feels regretful, but I'm, I almost feel like for you, the viewer, you are ready to do your own thing. And I'm seeing you going on a lot of dates with people, you know, for some, um, or just being open. That could just be how spirit shows it, that you're open. But there's someone kind of lurking here. Yeah, there's a leap of faith. We have release. What is this regret about? Okay, yeah, for some of you, there actually could be somebody here from the past or maybe the person that we talked about, one of the people or somebody here that has regret, but this is actually you taking the driver's seat now in your life and in this connection because you have chosen to take a leap of faith um, through all of this kind of surrender. So either you've spoken this or you've just energetically been doing this recently, but there is somebody who has regret about losing you is what it seems to be. The Emperor, yeah, it could be a twin flame connection for some of you. Ten of Swords. Yeah, that is the case for some of you. But I actually will do an extended because there's more to extend on with this. I will go more into this regret and tap more into this person because it seems like it's a, a counterpart connection. And for some of you, it is 
this person that is a part of your life or is supposed to be a part of your life, it's the, the details of that is going to vary. I don't know if this is already ended, this connection, or if it's, it is somebody who has regret, but it seems like I don't know where the regret comes from just yet in this reading. But I will go more into the person who's connected to you in the extended, see what's going on with them, how they feel, what they want to say. And then I will go into also what exactly is next with this leap of faith in your life, whether it's something completely new I feel like it's just, it's a new cycle though. It's something kind of exciting to look forward to because, because there's some support here, I feel from your ancestors again, coming up with this tree to say like you, like what you deserve is what you're going to receive. Like, you know what you deserve now. And this never ending cycle somehow is coming to an end. Um, and possibly somebody who does feel regretful and I don't know if you're going to accept them or if that's something I, I will have to look into that but but yeah I will leave it here um I hope this reading was helpful for whoever it was for if you did enjoy it please give it a thumbs up comment down below I'd appreciate it and I will link the um extended reading down below as well if you're interested and sending you all lots of love take care and blessings